in this video we will discuss the sutures of the skull the sutures of the skull are the fibrous joints connecting the bones of the skull here we will discuss all the sutures of the skull except the orbital sutures we will discuss those in a separate video there are 21 sutures of the skull that we will discuss here the first one that we are going to discuss is the coronal suture this whole suture which separate the frontal bone from the parietal bones is the coronal suture and it extend up to here on both sides the coronal suture is named because it lies in the coronal plane the next suture is the sagittal suture this is the sagittal suture the sagittal suture is present between the parietal bones and it is named sagittal suture because it lies in the sagittal plane now the point where the sagittal suture meet the coronal suture is called brigma the next suture of the skull is the lemboid suture this hole is the lemboid suture separating the parietal bones from the occipital bone and the point where the sagittal suture and the lemboid suture meet is called lambda now before discussing the next suture first you should know about the temporal bone that it has two part this one is the squamous part and this is the mastoid part and the suture that is present between the parietal bone and the squamous part of the temporal bone is called squamous suture now it is called squamous suture because this part of the parietal bone is also squamous in nature and this part of the temporal bone is also squamous in nature so this is the squamous suture now the suture that is present between the parietal bone and the mastoid part of the temporal bone is called parietomastoid suture this is the parietomastoid suture and the suture that is present between the occipital bone and the mastoid part of the temporal bone is called occipitomastoid suture also there is a suture present between the squamous and the mastoid part of the temporal bone and that is called squamomastoid suture and this suture is interesting because it is present between the two parts of the temporal bone now the point where the occipitomastoid suture parietomastoid suture and the lemboid suture meets is called asterion the suture that is present between the squamous part of the temporal bone and the sphenoid bone is called sphenosquamous suture and this suture which is present between the parietal bone and the sphenoid bone is called sphenoparietal suture this suture which is present between the sphenoid bone and the frontal bone is called sphenofrontal suture this is the coronal suture that we previously discussed now this area where all these sutures meet is called terion terion is clinically important because this is the weak area of the skull and behind this runs the middle meningeal artery so if someone hit you over here there is a greater chance that the middle meningeal artery which runs behind it will get damaged and you will develop the extra dural hematoma the next suture is the sphenozygomaticus suture 
and it is present between the sphenoid bone and the zygomatic bone the next suture that is present between the temporal bone and the zygomatic bone is called temporozygomaticus suture the suture that is present between the frontal bone and the zygomatic bone is called frontozygomaticus suture now we will move towards the interior view this suture which is present between the zygomatic bone and the maxillary bone is called the zygomatico maxillary suture this suture which is present between the frontal bone and the nasal bones is called fronto nasal suture now there is a little mistake in this model the nasal bone is shown as one bone but actually these are appeared bones so we will move to another model that is accurate in this model you can see the two nasal bones and this is the fronto nasal suture that we discussed now the suture that is present between the nasal bones is called internasal suture and the point where the internasal suture and the fronto nasal suture meet each other is called nasion now we will move back to this model the suture that is present between the frontal bone and the maxillary bone is called fronto maxillary suture also the two maxillary bones meet each other at the intermaxillary suture the suture that is present between the nasal bone and the maxillary bone is called naso maxillary suture now let's remove the mandible bone and move toward the inferior view of the skull in the inferior view these are the two maxillary bones and these are the two palatine bones this suture is the intermaxillary suture that we discussed previously this suture which is present between the maxillary bones and the palatine bones is called palato maxillary suture and this suture which is present between the two palatine bones is called interpalatine suture these are the 21 sutures of the skull which shows the relationship and connection of different skull bones thank you